Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here. Welcome. This channel is a channel for resellers and those wanting to learn how to resell to increase your knowledge about what sells and therefore increase your income. I appreciate you guys watching. We had over $500 go out on eBay, which for us is actually it's one of the slowest weekends we've had in a while and we did go today today is sunday and we didn't find hardly anything but we're going tomorrow to the big webster flea market and hopefully we will find some better stuff there and i'm picking up a lot from auction on tuesday so let's take a look at what sold on ebay over this weekend for over 500 dollars in february <music> All right, so I am recording this on Sunday because we will be going to Webster Flea Market tomorrow on Monday, which is normally our busiest day, but we heard that Monday was the best day for that flea market. So we had like no sales today on Sunday, which was kind of crazy and scary at the same time, but we ended up getting, I think, four and one of them was pretty good, which I will show you guys. The other ones were just small ones, but we will take them because all of those add up. So first up, this is a bicentennial quilt and pillow kit. You can see it was originally 50 cents back in 1976 when it was um, put out. And I am not going to try and take that price tag off because they know it was vintage. And there is no reason for me to take that off. So this one, I am pennies in. I bought a big box of Bicentennial stuff for under $20. We're in the profit already. This one sold for $13 plus shipping. The buyer is $19.39. All in on that. Up next, this is a cute little stitch and zip that is what they look like these sell really well so this one was originally 9.97 and it sold for 14 dollars and 55 cents plus shipping the buyers a little over 20 dollars all in this one is hummingbird which is a great pattern or like subject matter when it comes to cross stitch because a lot of people like hummingbirds so this is like a little eye eyeglass case we paid two dollars for this and they are $20 all in. It'll be about a $10 profit for us after piece. Up next. And this was the first sale that we had of the day. And it was a good one. So this is actually a shaving mug. And I do have to give a shout out to Tim at over the years. Because I did not know what this thing was. I was like, what is this? So I guess like the shaving cream and the brush goes up here. And then you can rinse it off. I'm not even sure but. I got this in my Delft Blue lot. I was only a couple dollars in. After doing some research, I didn't really see many for this pattern. And a lot of them did sell higher. And then there were some that sold lower. So I priced high because I didn't see my pattern. And I will tell you, this is Foley Wear. This is Fenton J. Kent. And $2 and this one sold for $60 plus shipping the buyer's $72 all in. So over a $50 profit on this little shaving cup. And it's more the pattern and the maker than it is anything else, but it sold in less than a week. Pretty good. Mama. Next, this is the Bachman books. And you can see this is paperback is in pretty poor disrepair it is from 1985 though with stephen king books i would definitely check your titles and this is stephen king and this one i paid less than 50 cents for in a stephen king lot and you can see some of them are still back there so my plan was and still is i looked up all of the titles and if they were worth say ten dollars or more each i listed them individually and if they were not then what i do or will do is list them in lots so this one was listed for less than 24 hours and it sold for 32 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping the buyers 37 dollars and 99 cents all in on that up next some more ephemera this is 
Mystery of the Monarchs. This was 75 cents. This book is from 1959, which is pretty cool. We have had it about six months, less than a dollar, and it sold for $10.99 plus shipping the buyers $15.03. I'll let them up. And I'm going to turn this so you can see right here. And I will show you one so you know what it looks like. But these are some. Ooh, um, these are some Mark Twain books, and they actually are from 1917 to 1922. So they're just plain. They're actually super light. Um, sorry, we're crooked, I think. Um, so these I sold the lot whoa, over there. Um, six of them. They were listed less than two hours and somebody sent me an offer for forty dollars plus shipping and i accepted the buyers 52.90 all in and i only paid about five dollars for these in an online auction lot i did search for collier because there were a couple of different publishers that published mark twain so i searched for collier mark twain lot and found comps and i was expecting to only get about 30 bucks so i was happy with 40. Up next, this is some of my mom's fabric. So this is just an Ada Claus. So if you see a bunch of this at a thrift store garage sale in a bundle, I would pick it up. This one only sold for $4 plus shipping. The buyer's $8.33 all in, but a lot of these sold higher. And if you're pennies in, that still adds up. Up next, these are some Avon roses and I will take one out to show you guys. They're like little fake flowers that have a scent to them and I've had these over a year. Um, I got them in an Avon lot when I first got back into reselling. I thought that Avon would be worth something but it's been more of a pain in the butt and taking a long time to get rid of. So two of these sold for five dollars and 93 cents. I am less than a dollar in so I still make about a four dollar profit but they took over a year. So with Avon there are still a few Volo items but the majority of Avon is definitely something I would pass by. Up next this is a Tony the Tiger. This is a vintage anchor hawking fire king it is upside down there's your mark keep an eye out for these and this one did only sell for 11 bucks but we sold a like angry man or something like that i can't remember it was coca-cola the mean guy something like that but it was exactly like this but this was coca-cola and the mean guy and it sold for two I did. I did. Sold for $200 plus shipping in like a couple Daddy. hours. That is a tiger. That's very good. So check your oh. Anchor Hawking Fire yeah. King mugs. Because some of the prints, especially advertising, can sell. A tiger. A tiger can sell for really high. Up next. This is a really pretty jug it's kind of like a water jug or it can be used as a base and we sold a larger one of these last week for 35 this one sold for 28 dollars plus shipping the buyer is 41 dollars and 85 cents all in on that so this is not branded this is definitely a keyword thing if you guys want to see what keywords i am using you can look at my instagram i do show my solds there with the titles you can also check out my ebay store that is listed below in the description because i do not hide anything you can see everything that sold in the way that i listed it as well as photographs no not yet put it down up next this is another precision extra glucose monitor we paid five dollars it cost about eight to ship sold for 32.99 we'll make about a 15 dollar profit on up next this is a eggshell nautilus this is homer laughlin which can be a good brand but not all of it is it's got this pretty floral pattern and this one sold for 10.99 plus shipping the buyers 24.45 all in on that okay show that show it to them up next this is a ufo summit it is a keychain and i did get this at an online auction lot i paid less than a dollar for that 
And it did take about seven, like yeah. six, seven months to sell. It sold for twenty one ninety nine, free shipping. So shipping will only be a few dollars for this. And we will make about a $15 profit. Up next, these are some Merrill shoes. These are a small size. They are size six and a half. So they took a little while to sell. I've had these about five months. They're in excellent condition. They look like they might've been worn once. I got lucky and got these for under a dollar in an online shoe auction. They sold for $25 plus shipping the buyers $37.40 all in and we'll make over a $20 profit on those. Up next, this is a Justice League bear. I did pick this up at a, I think I got it at a thrift store. Um, I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $19.24 plus shipping the buyers $28.90 all in. So check your plush. I think this one was like a Justice League from Six Flags. So it was kind of a combination theme park plus Justice League and Wonder Woman and sold in about three months. Up next, <laughs> these are some gold silk Talbot's pants. They are size six petite. I got these in a clothing lot, paid less than 50 cents. Did get the clothing lot off of high bid. It was kind of a like buy all the pants out of the closet type thing. Sold for $7 plus shipping. The buyer was $13 and seven cents all in. And we'll make about a $5 profit on these. Up next over on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> this is really cool. It's a beam. You can see it is from 1945 from the Red Cross. It's kind of like a little newsletter and it's sold for $11 plus shipping over on Facebook. And we also sold this Car Life magazine over on Mercari for $11 plus shipping. So both vintage ephemera that we're less than a dollar into. This one is from 1965 and then one more Facebook sale was this Share magazine, Share Exposed. And I don't know why. I got this at the auction and it had like somebody kept all the CD inserts. So I got the lot actually for some concert books that were in there. This magazine was in there. So I listed it, sold for 20 bucks and sold before the concert book. So you never know what's going to sell first. But it sold for $20 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I believe that is everything you guys should be seeing this on a Wednesday. I will be doing a sourcing supporter live on Saturday and we will go by your zip code and look you up if you are one of the members. So if you haven't checked out the different levels of memberships, definitely click below and do that. And then we also should have insulation in the shed by the time you're seeing this, hopefully. So I will give you guys some shed updates as they are available and I will see you guys on Friday. I hope you had a great week and go bye.
Would you like a fish? This is cool. Yeah. You could look up that one, Robert Smokey Rose, that might be good. I just sold the big bowl of this for 20 bucks yesterday. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Whoops, Lisa, now your butt's gonna be in my video. <laughs> really? This is probably in the corner. It doesn't say it though. Live better naturally. Is this stuff on sale? Or no? This stuff? That's weird. I mean, it happens sometimes. None sold. What's that? <laughs> Your carp's over here. 